Funding for what I do is provided in part by my generous supporters on Patreon, and by direct donations from viewers like you. Thank you! Hey yo, Kelvin here. Earlier today I was recommended this video by um, Web Development Simplified, and it's a pretty interesting video about getting rid of um, else statements in your code to make it more readable. Uh, there, I've done it a few times where, where I just thought, you know, it was just easier to do, but like as a general practice, um, I never really gave it much thought. But I can see where he's coming from in this video, so you know, I agree with most of it, but there's this one part that I wanted to cover here today. Um, so there's going to be situations where you cannot avoid using else. So for this situation here that he's come across, his solution is one that I find rather silly. So let's listen to what he has to say. We didn't really get rid of the problem of our if and else if statements, but our code is a little cleaner. I kind of like using result instead. So if you run into a condition like this, where the only logical thing that makes sense is to use else and else if and if inside of this function, the thing that you probably need to do is take this and move it into its own function, because the function you're inside of is probably getting too big and too complex. It's doing too many things. So I'm gonna... Now, the reason why I think this is a bad example is because you look at this code, it's not going to be used for anything but deciding if someone is able to drink and, you know, returning whether or not they can. So... If you've got a piece of a function that is only useful in that function, it should just stay in the function. If you're not going to, you should only make something its own function if you're going to reuse it multiple places. You know, if something is just one off, don't make it a function. Because here, we'll get into his reasoning after. I'm going to create a new function that's just going to say can drink response. And it's going to take in our person and all that this is going to do it's actually going to take in an age it doesn't even need the whole person and all this is going to do is convert this to a bunch of guard clauses so we can say if person or i'm sorry age is less than 18 then i want to return this string here otherwise if the age is less than 21 then i want to return this string here otherwise at the very bottom i just want to return this string here so this is super straightforward core code. We're saying if the age is less than 18, boom, return this. If it's less than 21, return this. And finally, otherwise, in all other cases, return this. So he says that it's more straightforward code, but what he's going to end up doing is he's going to put this function call over and over here in place of these. Just, you know, doing can drink response 18, can't drink response 21. And, you know... So he's got the guarding clauses here, but he could just eliminate this entirely and just do the same guarding responses here. And he could eliminate the variable declaration up above and just have console logs instead. But earlier he said that he likes the variable, but I just, I don't see a point to it. You know, you could just have all of these in that function, since they're only going to be used in this function, there's nowhere else that you don't need to do this because look, look this how it looks. This is the exact looks. same as an if, else, if, else, but it's so much more condensed. We don't have to worry about nesting. And then up in our code, we can just say our result is equal to person.age of this function. And if we just get rid of all of this code, we've now drastically cleaned up our can drink. See, there's not even a reason to, to make this const result here. Like, if he wanted to put this all in its own function, he could separate this. I mean, he could, like, just put can drink response person age into the console log and just have console log print the result of can drink response directly. There's no reason to define this result here that's just going to be immediately deleted after one use, after it goes out of scope. So the contents of this function could be put right here, and these returns could be turned into console logs. And I just think that is what would make it a lot simpler. So, yeah, that's what I think he should have done. And um, if you guys agree or disagree, let me know in the comments below. Uh, this was a pretty short little one, but I enjoy doing video responses, so um, I might do more of these in the future. So, yeah, so everyone, um, 
thank you all for watching. Thank you all so much. And I hope you'll join me next time.